When the kids are lacing up the skates for a Capital City Condor practice, there's no containing the excitement. And the Plummer family has no problem getting their son Derek ready each week. He's one of those things that, uh, you know, growing up as a little kid, uh, he's, uh, we were looking for him to get involved in hockey, but he wasn't able to participate in the regular leagues. And so the challenge was then what? So we, we were out, you know, every day at the back, backyard rink and skating around. And then we found, uh, we heard about the Condors program through the internet and decided to come out. A lot of hesitancy, you know, a lot of challenges getting him involved, getting the routine for him to come here. And, he was actually very shy, didn't want to get involved, and suddenly it clicked for him, and he's been wanting to come. You know, he'll ask me on Mondays, you know, when's hockey, when's hockey? And uh, every week we plan to get ready to come here, and it's a phenomenal program for him. It's a program that puts the special into special needs parenting. Each week, more than 100 families get a chance to see their children on the ice, children who have autism, Down syndrome, and other disorders that would have previously made it almost impossible to play hockey. Robbie Gibbons has autism, but when he hits the ice each week, he's just one of the boys. They don't have that luxury that we grew up with of just picking up a game of hockey and playing. So this gives him a real sense of, of being able to engage in the community and be on a team. And it's good, honest hockey. It's not about who scores. It's not about who had the best play. It's not about who got a penalty. It's not about contracts. <laughs> It's just good, clean, honest, fun. And they, these kids just want to put on their hockey skates and grab their sticks, throw a puck down, and play. And I think anybody, any parent that has a child involved in hockey or ringette really should come out and take the time to, to watch these kids play because it just kind of gives me shivers just thinking about it because they just want to have a good time. The Condors program was launched by Jim and Shanna Perkins back in Ottawa as a chance to give special needs kids a chance to play hockey and they have watched the participation skyrocket in the five years since the organization was created. Well, five years ago, we, uh, we saw some kids playing in, in southern Ontario on, out on the ice, and uh, we were quite taken with, with just the experience of seeing them getting to play. But I think it was talking to the parents afterwards, and uh, we started hearing a couple stories of the difference it was making in kids' lives beyond just the joy of getting to play hockey. Um, they, were, they were seeing significant changes in the quality of their, their life too by belonging to a, to a hockey program, you know. So Shannon and I drove back and it was just a matter of we got to find that in Ottawa and get involved and volunteer somehow. And then when we got here and found out there wasn't a, a program for kids, then it was a question of, well, do we just pretend we didn't see that or do we try to start it? And we, we decided to, to see if we could start something. The Condors have been helped greatly by the Ottawa Senators, and in particular by former defenseman Matt Karkner. In fact, the organization's mascot is named after him. But after Karkner signed as a free agent with the Islanders, it left a void with the Condors. So enter Kyle Tourist, Karkner's old roommate who has picked up the role and tries to hit the ice with the Condors as often as he can. I was lucky enough to room with Kirk's last year and uh, you know I always heard him talking about the Capital City Condors and when uh, he left he uh, he introduced me to Jim Perkins and uh, just from meeting with Jim and uh, he kind of asked if I was interested in coming out and I said yeah so I I came out once before I left for Europe and I just fell in love with the kids and it's uh, it's really special to come out every Saturday with them. It's it's amazing seeing how happy they are just like pure happiness, it's uh, it just gives you chills, and it's it's something. Yeah, I I take away just as much and more than they do from this because it's it's really neat. It has been unbelievable. Matt, you know, was such a, a key component to uh, to the program, even getting visibility and credibility in in the city. I cannot say enough good about Matt, but his promise to us when he knew that he was going to be heading somewhere else is that he wouldn't leave us high and dry, and that, that he would make sure there was a good good person to fill in. He introduced us to Kyle and. Uh, Again, I can't even begin to say enough good about this young guy. He's, uh, he's embraced the program right away. He's here basically every time the kids are on the ice. He's here, he's got his skates on, he's skating around with them. And it's pretty amazing to see the transition even that happens in our kids because it's gone from, whoa, Kyle is here, a senator, to, hey, our buddy Kyle's here. You know, and they, they've just welcomed him in. And uh, even some of the aura of being an NHL player seems to have gone a little bit because he's Kyle. And, uh, and yeah, it has been seamless. That's, that's very well put, and uh, we couldn't be grateful, more grateful for his, uh, his contribution to the team.